It is time for a Dollar Tree shop with me and I'm very excited because there's a lot of new stuff in store, especially for Easter. So I have a ton to show you because I walked down every single aisle to make sure I found all of the new stuff. Hey, hey you guys, it's Christina from the Purple Alphabet. There's a lot in this video. I know you want me to get right to it. So let's go to Dollar Tree and see what's new. You're not gonna believe it you guys. I shopped at three different Dollar Trees for this shop with me. I'm gonna show you everything that I saw that was new. We're gonna start off in the Easter section. There is a lot to show you here. A little bit of everything as things are starting to come into the stores. A lot of the decor and a lot of things that you can make like the craft things were in stock. These banners are really cute. They are part of the Crafter Square section and I guess you can paint them or color them, one of the two. And they have these little cute little banner pom-poms across the bottom. They also had a lot of the mesh. I know a lot of people like to use these for making reefs. So usually those are the first things to kind of come in stock for the holidays. If making reefs are your jam, definitely take a look at these. During Christmas, we also saw the little strands of garland pom-poms. Well, now they have them for Easter in a whole bunch of new colors, blue, pink, green, and yellow. And then we always see the vase filler every single season, just in different colors. Also taking a glimpse at some of the little picks that go inside the reefs and you're into it. And then we saw a lot of bunny butts. I don't know what it is about bunny butts but they are kind of cute, right? We have some little rabbit legs that can go inside reefs. And of course they always have the Easter eggs. These come in different sizes, the smaller ones and kind of a medium size. And there's a little bit less in the medium size packages. But I kind of like these and I don't remember these from previous years, but these are yarn wrapped eggs. They come in a couple different colors, four to a pack too. Don't recall them in the past, but they are really, really pretty and they look high end. And then these are definitely new this year. These are pom poms in different sizes. So I guess they're kind of like bunny tails. And there are several packages that came in different sizes. I really do like these craft eggs. They are foam shaped eggs and they also had foam shaped bunnies. These would be perfect for making. They used to have these in paper, but now they have them in felt. They are bunny footprints. You can place them around your house to find where the bunny has laid Easter eggs or an Easter basket. I always see these, they're shown to you every year anyway, but they look to be the same from previous years. Little plaster painting kits. These kits come with the paint or markers and paint brushes, everything you need to complete the craft. And there's always different styles. So as I always say, look behind the items because you might find something different hanging behind something else. Here's a little Easter basket filler with the little ball that you hit, the paddle ball. And they also had the jars. You can use these for sensory bins. You can also make really fun snow globes out of them. A couple of the decorations, but this one was my favorite over here. It's a little weighted bunny. He's got some weights on the bottom, so he stands up. This one came in white and it also came in brown. These are gonna sell so fast because they look so cute. Some more of those little jars here, but they had different color lids so I wanted to make sure I showed you those and then we saw these in Christmas time but this time they have bunny ears they are initial letters that you can decorate yourself here is what I saw so far for all of the paintable decor bunny butts Easter eggs the whole nine so they had quite the selection they also had a whole bunch of signs I think these are great to hang up in your house for decoration and you can decorate them as you wish or have your kids decorate them too a lot of fun on these and a really good selection just note too that you can also buy the paint at Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree sells a collection of all different colors that you can use on these too. If you prefer something a little bit smaller, they did have these little wooden cutouts in different shapes. They come several to a package so you can make your own garland. They also make great little ornaments that you can hang in the house or do as a class project if you have like a preschool or something, or maybe you're a teacher or you have a church group. So those are some really great options there. I do like these, but they come one to a package. I just think they're a great quality and it could be really fun to make a great keepsake for Easter too. If you do invitations to play or tinker tray, stem kits, these little wood cutouts would be great for that too. There's a little egg little chicks and bunnies they come several oh, and the carrots too can't forget the carrots and they come several to a package and then here's a long sign that you can decorate or maybe even use a cricket on to make your own saying on the sign these little artist kits we see every single year here's a look at some of the designs they have this time they're little canvases that come with the paint and the easel and the paintbrush so you can do them on your own we used to do these all the time when my kids were younger they also have these paint kits which were just okay I don't know they just come with paper and some paints real quickly here is a glimpse of all of of the decor. I'm going to put the camera over it and I will be back when we're done.
so many fun items to pick from in the decor section. Here's some little batting that you can use to lay over a table to make a Easter scene or to put your Easter decorations on. You can also use this inside of an Easter basket. I think it's much better than that grass. It comes in a couple different colors and we've seen it before in previous years. A few Easter basket fillers have come in, but I have a feeling these are gonna be coming in the upcoming weeks. So I didn't see too much yet, just a little glimpse of what may be coming. These little Easter eggs look so nice and we've seen them before in the previous years. They are really cute decoration. Oh, and the coloring kits, they're gonna be coming. They're not quite here yet. I just found a couple in my store, but they're the Dudley's brand, which is really, really good. So this is a great deal on these little Easter dyeing kits. Some more Easter basket fillers. I have a little notebook here with activities. I also found a little ball blower where you put the ball in the bunny's mouth and squeeze it out. These were adorable. Look at this little sack. It's a gift bag shaped in the carrot. How cute is this? It comes two to a package. I just think that was really, really adorable and a new find. Found some more wooden signage at this store too and all kinds of different colors that are already painted for you. Looks like we had blue, yellow, and kind of like a mauvey pink. And then ribbon, you guys. They had some really, really, really cute ribbon. Look at this. So many pretty designs and in different widths too. Very fast glimpse of what I saw so far for the Easter baskets. Not a lot just yet, but we usually will see a whole bunch more as the holiday gets closer. And I wanted to pay special attention to this one down here at the end that looks like a basketball goal. You better believe this one is coming home with me. It's adorable. Let's talk about the St. Patrick's Day stuff. There's a smaller display of that, but definitely need to get this right away because this will sell out within the week or so right after Valentine's Day is over. These little pots are great for sensory bins. And then they also had a whole bunch of different like sunglasses and light up decor and things that you could wear, headbands. My kids wear this kind of stuff for St. Patrick's Day during school so I picked up a few of these and I'll show you what I got in my Dollar Tree haul video coming up soon. There's a lot of different options though and some really fun finds that you can wear for St. Patrick's Day. I'm going to show you real briefly some of the scarves that they have. I know a lot of people like to wear these because it just adds on to your green and then a little bit of the decor that you can hang around your house. Some really cute finds just not a lot of it. So if you're into the St. Patrick's Day thing you're definitely going to want to go now before it sells out. I really like this one here. It was a headband with clovers all the way around. Some more of the scarves. This store was different than the other store that I just showed you a few minutes ago. And then the table scatter here, which is great for decorating or even using in sensory bins. Glitter does seem to come off on some of these. And then of course they always have the paintable decor, which would be a fun art project to do with your kids. Here are some foam shamrocks that you can decorate and maybe put in a leprechaun trap. I know our kids used to do that as a school project a long, long time ago. Let's head on over to the craft section because there is so much going on in the craft section, especially with the vinyl. Look at all of it. It's so well stocked right now. There's lots of new colors and lots of new designs. I was actually on the hunt for the rainbow one and I haven't been able to find it. Not one of the six stores I looked at had it, but I did find a couple of new colors and new shades. A lot of people are saying this is a hit and miss on this vinyl using it with your Cricut, but then some people are saying this newer vinyl that has been coming into the stores works much, much better. I don't know. You guys will have to tell me if you've tried it, if you had any experience with it. I did take a couple of rolls home because I wanted some of the new colors and it's a really great value. This one is at one of the stores I visited and it's that floral print, which is really pretty, but still no rainbow print. You guys, I want the rainbow print. Moving on to some new canvases. They have the canvases where the pictures are already printed on them. These are so cool. All you need is the paint and you can just paint on the pre-printed picture versus having a blank canvas. I think that's pretty cool. There was quite a selection. You just had to kind of peek and see what was behind each one to get a good idea of the different ones that they had. And of course you can get the blank canvases still too. I did see a lot of new wooden finds too. So Dollar Tree has these great wooden pieces that are already cut out for you. You can color them, decorate, them. They have so many different styles right now and I just think it's really cool because you can find whatever is of your interest and decorate it however you want. It just makes a really quick easy art project for the kids, a group project for school, or even something for the holidays. Here's a couple of the new signages. I think people put this in reefs or whatnot. I'm not quite sure what people do with these but it was kind of cool to see they have the different sayings because they look so much more expensive than they actually are. Each one of these had a different saying on them. Tons of home decor pieces too and the wooden stuff. 
stuff. I just think it's a really great value and you can make it the colors that you want for your house. Here's some application bottles, which would be fun for sensory bins, squirting out water. And then I did find some new stickers too, which I really like these because they were six sheets in one package. So if you're doing like a kid's birthday party or something, you can just divide them out that way and you get six for the price of one whole sticker sheet and be great for like a party favor or something like that. Found a little bit more of those night lights. So there's actually a light in between the two pieces here that comes on in glows. We did some Christmas tree ornaments with this and they turned out so, so well. So I wanted to show you some of the fun ones. Love the rainbow here and the dinosaur that you can find right now. These are just so cute. They make great gifts for people if you want to make your own gift or like I said, a Valentine's gift for your kids and they can decorate it on their own. Wasn't sure what to think about these. These are foam frames. They're not wood, they're made out of foam, but it shows that you can decorate them and they came in a couple different sizes. So I was wondering if anybody's tried them, had great success with it. It was kind of an interesting find. And then also in the floral section, I found these plastic wreath boards in two different sizes. I'm not sure if these are new, if they've been around a while, but they give you a base to put things and string your floral pieces in. So I thought that was super interesting. And of course they still had a zillion of different floral forms for you to use in different sizes and different shapes. Let's head on over to the toy section, which is usually where I hang out most of the time to find some new finds. I want to talk about the fidgets. We have these mini fidgets in all kinds of different sizes. These will sell super, super fast. Although I don't know if it's a great value because you can get the larger ones that they've had before in the past. But I wanted to mention them to you to let you know these are great because they're smaller and they can just fit in your hand and go a little bit more unnoticed than the larger ones, especially if you're using them to fidget and you need something smaller so that it's a little bit more discreet. So lots of different sizes, lots of different colors in this. And I found these at several different stores. So these must just be rolling into the stores now. Also be on the lookout for the bracelets. These are a good find. A long time ago, I had a video on fidgets and I found these bracelets on Amazon and now you can find them here much, much cheaper. They fit around your wrist and they have bubble pops all the way around, which is a really great way to wear your fidget like those. And brand new at a different store, I found the squeeze poppers where you squeeze them together and they make a suction cup popping sound when you open them. Super cool to see that they are getting so many different types of fidgets. Here are the big bubble poppers that I mentioned before. We've seen these before in the past, but I wanted to kind of scroll over because I never seen a section this well stocked with all of the different styles. I think you can also buy these online. I'm going to put a link down below in the description box. I've had great luck with this holographic scratch art and I saw it at a store again. We got it for Christmas for our kids and it is perfect. Get this. It's a definite favorite. And then they had some really nice animals. So these are larger animals than I've seen before and they had zebras and giraffes. So these would be really great for imaginative play. Might get a little pricey if you buy all of them separately, but I was really impressed with the weight of them and the quality and they actually had nice paint jobs on them. So I like those. And then on Instagram, you guys told me these are new finds. A lot of you like this one. It's a sketch it game where you have to draw on the dry erase board inside and they, there's a whole stack of cards that you can draw. And this one is a squish and sculpt game where you take the dough and you make the object and the other person has to guess what it is. But those are a lot of fun and I've seen these at a couple stores too. And then some new brain teasers. So these are really, really challenging brain teasers great for an Easter basket by the way so keep your eyes out for that if you have an older child I'd say at least eight and up for those and here are some really cool bugs I mean these are amazing and it'd be great for sensory bins especially spring sensory bins coming up look at this grasshopper and how big it is compared to my hand this is a great find and then they also had a whole bunch of different dinosaurs same thing great for imaginative play sensory bins the whole nine really am impressed with these and I'm glad to see that they have them at Dollar Tree. This would be a great find to keep. The quality was really good. I did find a big box of sensory balls. These are so cool because when you squish them, you can see a little bit of what's inside. They had the full selection of colors. These are a win with my kids. They love to fidget with these and play with these. I feel like we have a zillion. And then this spring stuff, you guys, is coming. <laughs> it's coming good. Some of my favorites from previous years would have to be this little bug catcher set. And then also these over here, they have great tools inside so you can get them for the tools to use that fine motor work when you're doing sensory bins. One has a tweezer and one has like a little scissor-like thing. They're perfect. Frisbees are coming back in in all the rainbow colors. I did a video I'm gonna put up in the corner about outdoor activities with those. So you can watch that after this to get some ideas to do with Frisbees outdoors. And speaking of outdoors, I do really like these pinwheels. They are so fun and pretty. Usually get a couple of them every year because we love them. I've done a toy test review on the foam airplane and it's great. And then they have the little whip 
wiffle ball catchers here, which is another outdoor find. So good finds here. Let's start up here on the top shelf with all these fun shaped and colored plates. They're so pretty, great for Easter, great for Mother's Day. Like all these little cups, we use these for ice cream. They're just too pretty. Get all of them to coordinate, have the same style of containers in your closets and everything will match. These containers are a lot of fun. You can use them for putting in school lunches or grab and go snacks. I like that they also have the snap closure on the sides, that's really nice. And another store I found the corresponding bowls. Look at this, it's like a three set or a two set and all the, yeah, definitely a three set and it comes with the corresponding lids to go with each container. I found these in the round size and also the square size. These are pretty cool, so three for a pack for $1.25, that is not bad. And then another store, here's a glimpse at the other size containers they have. It's like everybody had different containers depending on what store I went to. So I wanted to make sure that I gave you a sample of what's out there so you can be on the lookout for what's in your store. This one even had the different colors in the laundry basket, so I thought that was fun. But they had a whole bunch of great storage containers for desktop organization, drawer organization, and these came in so many different sizes that so you really can find something that works for your space. Speaking of home decor, how cute is this? It's a little mirror in the shape of a dinosaur. They also had it in a whale and a cloud. I just thought these were super fun and unique and they looked really expensive. I think it'd be great to put these up in a bathroom or something. Over in the gardening section, now is the time to stock up on all of the gardening supplies. I found a couple different finds that were of interest, like the little potting things and the signage for gardens. They also had the plant hangers. One was in metal. They had the traditional ones that stick in the ground and they had the kind of mac macrame looking ones in two different colors, the green and the gold. Over in the little, I don't know what this section is called. It's like a stationary section maybe, but it's not quite stationary. I'm not quite sure what it's called, but they had these really fun coloring books for adults. They also had them in Sudoku and Crossword. So I thought that was kind of a fun find. I might take one of these Sudoku books home with me just because it looks really nice. And they had all kinds of different ones inside, not just your traditional like space theme and sports themes, really like those. And then they had a whole bunch of fun folders and things. Around this time of year, my kids' folders and school supplies get to be a little bit eh, worn, so it's always nice to replenish it throughout the year with something that they can use for the rest of the year. These had a lot of fun sayings on them and I thought they were super cute. random find that I found was this perpetual calendar. I just thought it was a really good find because you can use this year after year after year and you can just move the little cards according to the date. So just thought that was kind of cool and wanted to show you that that exists, although only saw it in one store. And then of course they had a lot of planners and calendars left over for the beginning of the year. I'm not quite sure why that is. So if you haven't gotten one yet, it's not too late. You're probably going to be able to find one. I found these kinds of things in several different stores, so they're still out there. This was a fun find. It is a silicone straw it comes with a container so you can clip it to a backpack or throw it in your purse if you'd like a reusable straw and in a couple different colors too and over in the book section I wanted to show you some of the new finds for the kids books I did find a whole bunch of Monster High books my kids aren't into Monster High so I can't speak to the quality of these books or this book series but I want to let you know if you have that fan or the happily ever after series they had a whole bunch of those and then they had some really fun sticker books. Look at this, 300 plus stickers. You could get this and be set for a while. They also had activities in this book to do in addition to that. When my kids were younger, we were always using these in restaurants or in church. I really do like these highlight hidden pictures. I think hidden pictures is a great exercise for those little minds. And you can also color them after, so it serves as a, an activity book and a coloring book all in one. Plus with highlights, you really can't go wrong. They have the ultimate dot to dot books. These are more complex dot to dot, so if you have an older child or even an adult would probably enjoy this. It's a nice mindful exercise. And then they had some new learn to draw books. I've seen these before in the past, but they have different characters now. So they walk you through step-by-step step on how to draw. I saw like a puppy, I saw a koala and a couple of other ones too. So these are new animals that they're learning how to draw. 
combine these books with maybe a new pencil set or some colored pencils and a pad of paper and I think that would make an excellent little gift too for someone who really likes art. For the youngins we have the fun Sesame Street board books. I used to buy these all the time for my toddlers. They're really really simple books but they have the characters that they're familiar with so I think that's pretty cool that they have those in stock. And then over in the hardware section I thought I'd check out to see if there was anything new over here and I did find a couple of new things. This right Right here is kind of a multi-tool knife not quite sure on the quality but I wanted to show you that it does exist if you've tried it definitely let me know down below then they also have these little tools over here that are exchangeable screws drivers and a little level inside and that's really handy to keep and then they had another one that has a tape measure inside once again something really handy to keep around if you don't already have it and then this last one over here I thought was super fun too. It is a screwdriver set. It's really, really cute and can go anywhere. Maybe if you need to slip it into emergency kit or in your car. If you're into the shop with me's and wanna see some more, I'm gonna put one up here on screen for you to go and check out next. I will see you over there. Make sure to click subscribe to see more videos like this and give me a thumbs up to show your love.